President Biden saying only those individuals making more than 400000 would see a federal tax hike. Turns out it's going to affect many more people than that. He said on taxes that anybody making more than 400000 will see a small to a significant tax increase. Uh, to clarify, did he mean individuals or households? Because it wasn't very clear. Families. Well, that's a big difference. Joining me now, Indiana Senator Mike Braun. Uh, he also sits on the Senate Budget and Appropriations Committee. Senator, first, uh, though, let's begin with another humdinger. Turns out states cannot cut their own taxes if they want to keep rescue plan money. Uh, I, didn't, I don't think anyone saw that coming, but there's a big uproar now. Well, the uh, Wall Street Journal did, and my staff did, and I've got a bill out there that would uh, take that part out of the uh, Rescue Act. And uh, sadly, Charles, penalizes red states that have been bringing uh, taxes down, uh, got the good business climate, and uh, again, benefits blue states, especially when they reconfigured the rescue package based upon you got more the higher your unemployment rate was, which is, again, uh, totally a disincentive for uh, states to run their governments like most businesses do. Indiana would be one of those. And, uh, yeah, I think that uh, is probably unconstitutional as well. I wrestled with uh, uh, Joe Manchin on the uh, floor, I think it was on Wednesday or Thursday. And uh, you got to watch it because it was his amendment that Chuck Schumer probably had him put in there. And it was hard for him to justify it, especially when his own governor is wanting to lower income taxes. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the, the, the states that had the worst response to the pandemic were rewarded and those that had the best, not so. And then to do this, uh, amazing. I want to ask about the consequences now that we're learning these changes in that $400,000 threshold. And also, what other surprises could, we, could be in store? It's very simple here. When you say all of us understood it, that an individual uh, making less than 400000 wouldn't have a tax increase. But of course, uh, and I guess the bureaucrats don't know this, most spouses file jointly. So it would have almost double the impact of what they said would not happen. Uh, theoretically, two spouses each make 200000 now their tax rate's going to go up because of that family consideration. That's just one of many things you're going to find them wrestling with. Uh, as a small business owner that was lucky to have one grow into a national company over time, almost all of us are organized as LLCs or sub S's, not C Corps. Some are, and you can change back and forth with some grace period in there. But anyway, when it comes to pass through, which uh, Ron Johnson fought hard to get that qualified income tax deduction. They're not talking about that. Right. I think that's going to be on the chopping right. block, too, even though it's uh, due to sunset in 2025. Devastating to small business. I want to uh, switch our attention to, uh, to another big item this week. The CDC now saying that schools could actually operate with three feet of social distance. That's down from six feet. And still the administration not, not advocating for reopening our nation's schools. Instead, they're going to hold a summit. Uh, you sit also on the Education Committee. It seems like each day that goes by, our, our children are falling further behind. What is it going to take for this administration to say, yeah, the science is there, the urgency is there, let's reopen schools? You know, with what they're doing, basically, and now that you got that kind of data, you should have been in the room when Rand Paul and I were uh, grilling uh, Dr. Fauci about some of that <laughs> stuff. And when are you yeah. going to ever, you know, start uh, clarifying in a way that gives some certainty to business owners and individuals what's going to be the deal down the road? But in schools, and especially places like California, Chicago, that have been shut down, you know, for over a year. And uh, now we say, know that it's three feet versus six feet. That's why they should have erred on the side of being a little more enterprising out of the gate, because look at the economic yeah. carnage that's occurred. And shut down states like New York and California can't sport any better results, really, than places like Florida, which had the most susceptible population. So when bureaucrats take over, yeah. You're going to get a lot of that, and then they're going to backpedal, just like when I ask, 
when well, do we get to the point where we don't need vaccines? They have no clear answer on that. Yeah. yeah. Well, we do know one thing. Uh, it's harmed families. It's harmed working parents, particularly women. It's harmed the educational and achievement gap. And the emotional toll keeps adding up. Senator Mike Braun, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you.